out the kid in all of us again. Um, our mission was packed and very tight schedule, but uh, every once in a while we got together eating dinner together. We had a guest, uh, that uh, green guy in the middle. <laughs> But uh, uh, now we have to say goodbye to the station and Taz as we uh, leave uh, Greg Shamitoff on, on the space station and have this guy right next to me uh, with us. And uh, we're closing the hatch and uh, we're going to be undocking the next day. Eight. Physical oh, separation. Uh, moment of separation to leave and go home. Physical separation. And uh, Garrett. Our space station crew member down there is already with some fantastic music for us. True surreal moment. I'm sure some of you remember uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. Well, we were living it, uh, and this is a uh, this is a moment in our mission where most of the difficult tasks were behind us. The EVAs were complete, all the robotics, the assembly. Um, everything getting the gym going, and everything had gone very well. So it was a point where we could truly relax and admire uh, what we had accomplished. And the view as we fly a circle around the space station was just breathtaking. Just the orbiter again. This is great music. Nice <laughs> choice. Thanks. So uh, we got some scenes here of us uh, in our last couple of days in space, and uh, you had to do all the same things up there that you have to do down here. For some of us, have to shampoo their hair. <laughs> Never really was much of an issue for me for 95 days, but uh, we make food. There's uh, Ken. Yeah, I think that's uh, scrambled eggs. <laughs> hockey, hockey. Hockey, hockey. I, don't know, I don't know if you guys know this, but hockey is huge. This man wakes up in the morning, he eats a bowl full of nails for breakfast. Uh, he's really strong. Ken's a very good dancer. <laughs> Here's Ron, our crew member that's missing today. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of kids in the audience, I, I see, and, and we're being a very, very bad influence. They always tell you not to play with your food, but up, up there you can't help it. See Karen spinning around with her hair? I knew what it was like to be a car in a car wash after being, after being uh, with them on the mid-deck for a while. This is a ball of things that are really tasty. And here's... <laughs> m and Scramble, yeah. Kind of like 50, 51 pickup of, with M&M's. <laughs> Karen cheated. Up. You probably don't want to hit my head. You're going to hit your head. You might hit your head. Dude, <laughs> commanders care a lot for their commander. No commanders were harmed in the making of this video. Plenty of warning. That was good. So now we're just getting ready to come home. There's a lot of work to be done to reconfigure the... Uh, the whole orbiter to turn it into a re-entry vehicle and everybody's getting in their seats and these guys got a lot of work to do up on the uh, flight deck and uh, we're not so busy <laughs> down on the mid deck just uh, catching up on our sleep I read a book or two He's had some coffee had some coffee you see some of the uh, jets firing there uh, and now you see gravity slowly increases and you can kind of play with it. Things start to drift down slowly and then gradually faster and faster. Roger, on at the 180. So we're gliding uh, from over the Indian Ocean Houston, all the way back, halfway inside. around the planet, back to KSC. Roger, get below uh, Mach 1, you hear a couple sonic booms. We don't hear those inside. Then we're about 10 times steeper than an airliner at 300 knots. Um, can lower the right, landing gear there. There at uh, 300 feet. There we touch go. down at about uh, 200 knots. Uh, we got 15,000 feet of paved runway there at KSC, one of the longest runways in the world. Parachute comes out at 195, and we put the nose back on the ground. I don't know what those guys are congratulating themselves for. <laughs> <laughs> a couple hours later, we get everything turned off. 
we uh, get out of the orbiter. We go do a little walk around, see, make sure we got all the parts that we left with. We usually do. Uh, and that was STS-124. We went uh, about a little over 5 million miles over uh, about 14 days, did about 208 orbits of the planet, and left a very capable module. Uh, that's all working all really, really well at this point. Uh, left it on ISS. So thank you very much. All right, we will uh, we'll take as many questions as uh, we have time for. There are microphones, and uh, they're going to try to find you. If you can uh, signal that you have a question, and they'll bring the microphone to you, please. Well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, there's a gentleman yeah, right. I'll get you next. How about in the, in the middle there? Uh, how many people are on this space station right now? Yeah, right now uh, there are three people up there. Uh, there are two Russian cosmonauts and a uh, U.S. astronaut. The uh, space station is designed to hold three people right now, but in the near future, um, within a year, year and a half, the uh, space station will be able to support uh, a permanent crew of six, which is, hopefully will be the way uh, it performs for the their duration. But here, front right. Good. Uh, I'd like to ask you 